back everyone my name is Patrick you're watching the Oilers rundown coming to you from my office at work so I apologize for the setting got stuck here a little late and with the earlier start tonight wanted to get this video out to you guys so please excuse the setting for this video so some big news today for the Edmonton Oilers according to TSN's Darren Greger and DFO's Frank Saravalli the Edmonton Oilers are in on Nashville Predators defenseman Matthias Ekholm so he's a target we've talked about before. He can slot in on that left side in the top four for the Edmonton Oilers. He's a $6.25 million cap hit, I believe, but the Oilers should be able to make that work. Hopefully Nashville would be considering retention or we'll see what contracts the Oilers can send out the door. Bob Stoffer mentioned on Oilers Now today that the Predators have shown interest in Kyler Yamamoto before, so maybe some combination of Yamamoto and Puliarvi and possibly a draft pick. I don't know. Yessi Puliarvi might be staying here with the Edmonton Oilers past the deadline. Not sure what's really happening there, but really excited to hear that we could be in on Matthias Ekholm. Elliot Friedman mentioned on 32 Thoughts that interest around the league on Joel Edmondson from the Montreal Canadiens was dwindling. And then Darren Drager tweeted this morning that the Oilers could potentially still be interested in Joel Edmondson. So... I think we're all kind of hoping that one is a non-starter and there's nothing happening there and hopefully Elliot Friedman's right and Darren Drager's wrong. So we'll see what happens there, guys. But obviously the Matthias Ekholm news is far more exciting than the potential Joel Edmondson news. I really don't think that's happening. I think that's maybe just a back, back, back burner for the Edmonton Oilers. But we'll see what happens, like I said. Eric Carlson had this quote today. I think it would be weird if Mike Greer comes to me with three days left and asks me to waive my no move. We've had plenty of time for that, if that was the case. So I'm not too worried about it. I'm just here to play hockey. So based on that quote, guys, I think we can almost fish. Well, I shouldn't say officially, but that door to Eric Carlson and the Edmonton Oilers happening seems to be closing further and further. You would think things would be picking up here, and I think there's still time for that to happen. But if the Oilers are zeroing in on Matthias Ekholm, and something can happen there with the Nashville Predators, that is obviously the far more likely scenario and would still be a very strong outcome here for the Edmonton Oilers. I think we'd all, for the most part, be really happy with Matthias Ekholm, and hopefully the Oilers could also add some kind of cheap third, fourth liner to the forward ranks as well but Matias Ekholm would definitely be a difference maker for the Edmonton Oilers. So I think that's all I have for now, guys, but I will certainly update you on the Fanatic Rundown following the Oilers and Bruins tonight if anything else happens. And uh, yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts on Matias Ekholm potentially becoming an Edmonton Oiler in the comment section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan. Take care, guys. I'll see you later tonight for the Fanatic Rundown.